Some late night drama in the Tennessee Capitol as state lawmakers take action on some big impact issues, including the state budget and tough new abortion restrictions. Thanks for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Sarah Diamond. And I'm Josh Smith. Good evening. Tonight, the Tennessee Senate is still in session. Members have indicated they do plan to wrap up their session at some point tonight. Within the last few hours, they appear to reach a consensus with the Tennessee House on some sort of a budget plan for next year. We'll get into that in just a moment. Well, earlier tonight, lawmakers in the Tennessee House approved major new restrictions on abortion. The so called heartbeat bill bans nearly all abortions once a fetal heartbeat is detected. That can be as early as six weeks into pregnancy. Violators under this law would face a Class C felony. The bill also requires an ultrasound prior to abortion and makes it illegal to have an abortion because of the child's sex, race, or potential for Down syndrome. Ansley Daniel reports on the debate in Nashville and has reaction from uh, people in the Tri Cities. Josh and Sarah, Governor Bill Lee announced his support for the tough new abortion restrictions earlier this year. Earlier today, it appeared the Senate wouldn't take up the heartbeat bill, meaning it wouldn't become law. But tonight, we're hearing the Senate could vote on it at any time. As the Tennessee House wrapped up business for the year, hopefully, we can protect more lives, we can save more babies. House Republicans focused on passing the heartbeat bill. Some of what they called the most restrictive abortion legislation in the country, sponsored by Representative Micah Van Huss of Jonesboro. This legislation does not stand between a woman and her doctor. This legislation stands between a baby and its executioner. Democrats rose to oppose the bill. I do not need legislators in my doctor's office. And if we are going to legislate health on women and not men, then we are not treating women equally. Democrats say similar bills have been met with pushback from the courts. Why are we allowing the state to spend more money and court fees on a bill that we know is going to get struck down in the court system? Back in Johnson City, the chair of the Washington County Democratic Party sounded off. Tennesseans are hurting. Tennesseans need Medicaid expansion. Tennesseans need small business relief and worker relief and as they're trying to figure out everything around public education and what's going to happen and how are we going to make rent. These are very real needs, these kitchen table issues that Tennesseans are facing and yet the legislature, the House Republicans are ignoring them completely. The Tennessee Senate went into recess around 1030 after Planned Parenthood supporters somehow got into the Senate chambers in violation of the rules. We're monitoring the Senate session all throughout the night and we'll pass along any news as it breaks.